a lot of uh, component resembles uh, or what we used in the camera it is almost similar to the component uh, which is present in the uh, eye like in the camera we may observe some film in the olden days what the camera we using a uh, roll camera in that the film so it is resemble with the retina the diaphragm what we is observed in the camera it resembles with the eye arm. sorry uh, resembles with the iris the pupils with the apertures lens the both what we called it as a lens and uh, uh, choroid or the black paint what we observed in the camera so now let us discuss uh, how eye act as a camera or camera is resembles with the eye the eye can be considered as a complex camera system so it is a complex camera system due to its similarity in capturing and processing of visual information why it is considered because the capturing and processing of visual information it is similar to that of uh, uh, i the camera system is similar to that of i or the eye system is similar to that of camera so that's why the analogy between i and camera is observed the cornea and lens what we observed in both the case in the case of i the cornea and the lens focus incoming light onto the retina which act as a image sensor in the i it act as a image sensor whereas in the uh, camera we observe the lens material which focuses light onto the image sensor or a film yeah lens is present so based on that we can observe the longer or the shorter distance we can adjust and we can uh, sense or the focuses the light onto the image sensor or film then in the uh, eye we observe iris and pupil see the same way we will observe in the aperture in the case of a camera this iris in the eye controls the size of the pupil which regulates the amount of light enter into the eye same way the aperture which present in the camera shutters the speed regulates the amount of light that enter into the camera so both the components almost the comp components resembles with the function resembles with each other see then retina and the image sensor we observed in the uh, camera the retina in the eye contain a specialized cell called it as a photo receptors what is that is rods and cone cells so usually they capture the light and converted into electrical signals so in the retina it consists of photoreceptor so they capture the light and convert into electrical signal whereas in the camera the image sensors or the films are introduced they capture the image then rod and cone cells whereas what we called it in a camera is a pixels the rods are highly sensitive to light and are responsible uh, for vision in low light conditions under low light condition the rod cell becomes active while the cone cells are responsible for color visions and high re resolution details same way we observe the pixels in camera as image sensor play a role in uh, as a rod and cone cell it can make uh, the fine changes or the fine uh, 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 details we can observe by varying the pixels or by changing the pixels and we can observe the color images so that is observed in the camera then optic nerve what we observed in the eyes whereas the cables or connector we use in the cameras the optic nerve is carries the visual information from retina to brain it will carry the information from retina to brain for further processing and interpreting what is the object we observe that is decided the retina just observe the image whereas the brain that predict and processing and interpret the uh, components so camera the cables or the connectors transmit electrical signals from the camera image sensor to the processing units we usually connected to the cpu laptop etc and we can uh, observe that image then last the next one uh, what we observed is a image uh, processing what we observed is a 
uh, image uh, processing. So here uh, the eye, the information is uh, processed by the retina. In the eye, we observe the information processed by the retina and it is transmitted to the brain for interpretations. In the camera, the image in the camera, the sensor uh, in the image sensor signals are processed by the camera electronics and can further modified or enhanced digitally. So by using some softwares, we normally enhance what the picture we take are using the camera or we may edit that pictures to get a good resolutions like. So usually done by using some digital instruments. Then focus and accommodation. The eye has the capabilities to adjust focus and accommodations. The eye has the ability to adjust uh, focus and accommodation allowing the clear vision even at a different distances. So simultaneously if you change your vision from one object to the another object at a different distance you can clearly even though you can clearly vision. Same way camera has an autofocus system and even the manual focus mechanism. Then uh, in eye, uh, we normally the eye is protected by eyelids. Yeah, it acts as a protective cover. The camera also contains a cap, lens cap, that camera body that covers is used to shield the camera, lens and even the sensors. And to clean this one, the usually tears act as a lubricant and cleanse the eye surface, maintaining an optimal vision and even protect against dryness. And the lens usually cleaned by using a cleansing solutions. So to keep the camera lens clean. Okay, so eyelid uh, in the eye act as a protective cover. The lens cap or a camera body covers is used to shield the camera lens and sensor. So uh, here the tears act as a lubricant and cleanse the eye surface, maintaining optimal vision and protecting against dryness. Whereas in the camera, the, we normally clean these cameras by using the cleansing solutions and keep the camera lens clean. And same way the eye usually undergo some infections bacterial infection. Same way we may observe the camera lens may get uh, or some uh, un, uh, microorganism may deposited over the camera lens. So that's why that may be protected by using or the warm uh, under uh, uh, protected from uh, moistures is required. Same way as what we observe under eyes. So these are the some similarities between eyes and the camera. The fun for most is the cornea that we observe in the eye that focuses uh, the incoming light and that incoming light falls on the retina, act as an image sensor. Whereas lens is present in the camera that itself acts as an image sensor. Iris and people which present in the eyes, they control the size of the people and which regulate the amount of light. Whereas aperture what we observe in the camera that regulates the light amount enter into the camera. Retina uh, act as an image sensor and uh, convert that light into an electrical signal. The image sensor which present uh, or the film which present in the camera that capture the image. Then rod and cone cell uh, uh, which observed in the eye act as a pixel or it can uh, help to observe the low light vision and the high resolution visions. Whereas pixels and camera image sensor play the role uh, what we observed under eye uh, camera, sorry, eye, uh, road and consoles. Uh, optic nerves or the cable, the optic nerve carries a visual information from retina to brain for processing. Same way the camera that is usually connected by using the cables connector that transmit electrical signal from one uh, component to the other camera to the system or the any other component. And image processing uh, the in the Eye information uh, is uh, processed in the retina and that is transmer, uh, transmitted to the uh, brain for interpretations. Whereas in the case of camera image sensor, signals are processed by the camera electronics and can further processed or even enhanced. Focuses and accommodations uh, 
uh, is possible by uh, the ability or to adjust the focus and accommodation by the eye. As a result, uh, they allow in for the clear vision at even different distances. Autofocus is observed in the camera and even eyelid and the tears and uh, lens cap and the sensors are observed in the camera. These are the similarities between eye and camera. Thank you for watching the video.